Hello, Gun Nation. Big Johnson coming at you. All right, as you notice by the title, this is part one, but I did want to do an introduction and let you guys and ladies know that I did purchase the Taurus TX-22 competition. So, you know, I talked about in my Ruger video. I love that Ruger. It's a lot of fun. It's got the tandem cross parts on it. Super fun. However, it's just a capacity. I just don't have enough capacity. So I wanted something more uh, or wanting something different with more capacity. So I've got the SIG P322, which is really non-existent and hard to find, or the Taurus, which is 16. And then, of course, you can get extensions and things like that if you choose to. So I opt for the Taurus TX-22 competition. And why I did that is it does have a really fantastic palm swell here for my XXL hands. So it really fits me really nicely. Also, even at the bottom, you know, get a little bit of pinching here, but it's not really that bad. But uh, I opt for this. So I'm not going to do a box opening because y'all have all seen it, been there, done that, got a hat and a damn t-shirt. But I uh, did want to kind of go over a couple things. Of course, you, this is threaded, so I can put this bad boy on there. And I can put a light, laser, grenade, launcher, whatever the hell I want, you know, truck nuts, whatever. Um, and it does have the safety if you choose to carry it with the safety on or play with it with the safety on. I did not. I did uh, mount the dot on here, did the 15 inch pounds. This is one of my old Hollow Sun 507Cs, does not have the tray. So prior to putting it on here, I did put the battery, a new battery in it, and the other one was fine. Just put a new one in it so it'd be fresh. Torque down to 15 inch pounds. I am gonna be rechecking it to make sure it didn't back off and then I will mark the screws uh, with a uh, paint pen. So we'll get that marked. But really, you know, you'll see from the video, but I did want to do ammo testing. So this first part of the video has me testing three different types of ammo. Federal 38 grain, um, Federal Auto Match, and then I did test another one you'll see in the video, but I think I shot all through that. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, had a great time, and I did have a question for all of y'all. Is a 22 long rifle pistol, as long as it's dependable and you had good ammo in it, would you depend on it for a home defense pistol for you, your wife, if you had younger kids that could shoot? Would you depend on a 22 LR for home defense? I really want to know your comments below, so please leave them. But let's get on with this shooting video. I appreciate y'all. Got the Taurus TX-22 competition. Also, I do have a lot of items coming from Tandem Cross. And I will be putting those on this uh, little baby. And we will be having a lot of fun with this thing. So I'll have a part one, part two, and some other things following on this. However, this is part one. So stay tuned. Enjoy. Hello, Gun Nation. Big John's coming at you here for Texas Gun Experience. We've got the Taurus TX-22 competition. I have put a dot on it, the Hollow Sun 507C. We're going to be testing out some ammo. It is kind of loud in here, so bear with me. The ammo we're going to be testing first is going to be the Aguila 22 Super Extra 40 grain. I've got a mag loaded with it. We got the Federal Auto Match. Y'all are all familiar with it. Got a mag of that. And we got the Federal 38 grain 22. So these are going to be the very first shots. So first we will start off with the auto match. See how it does. This has not even been dialed in because I haven't shot it yet. These are the very first shots that you're going to see. I'm going to see how it functions. If any of them have a primer strike, I'm going to eject it, pick it up, and I will run it back through the mag to see if it was ammo or the gun. So we'll give it two strikes if we have any failures. Failure to feed, so I'll show it. Things like that, I'm going to show it. First shots, you know, was excited to get this gun. Really like the way it is in the hand. So let's get started. Federal auto match. Again, federal auto match. First shots. It fed. That's a sweet. That gun I can shoot. Oh, yeah, that one. I mean, look at this. It's upper, upper right on that. Okay. One. Yeah, you got it. That got the first it. one. Failure to extract. Well, that's about uh, 20 years more development than the other guy's problem. Well, 
guess maybe it did extract. saw that one little bump. It did end up running. Didn't have any failure to uh, failure to uh, or didn't have any light primer strikes. Let's say that. Now we will try the federal grain. Federal grain. Full mag. What's funny is the dot seems to be a little. Yep. So here we go. Okay. Failure to go into battery. Yep. It's not going to go. Let's drop the mag. That's what it did right there. That's a Federal 38 grain. Let me reinstall this. Okay. So I just reinstalled it in the mag. Okay. So y'all saw that. There's that. Now we're going to do the Aguila. The uh, extra. Okay, it. Ran it all perfectly. So this is part one, but there's basically 16, 16 had, had to bump it once, you know, kind of stuck up. So far, so good. We'll pull it. I'm sure about reliability. So there's. A so of course it, sh it is low. I was aiming for like, but it's not real bad. So y'all can see that. But now we'll do the next three. So stay tuned for part two. Carry on.